So although this next technique is useful for a lot of different things, I know that currently people are really big on creating adult coloring books and stuff. And sometimes you may have a, um, objects or whatever and you want to put a pattern into it, but they're not quite the size you want. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to select the rectangle in the top left. And then I'm going to go over and pick a pattern. And even though that looks pretty cool, it may be a little small for some. I know some people like small, intricate designs while others don't. So I wanted to show a quick and easy way to adjust that. With that top left rectangle selected, go up to Object, Transform, and Scale. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that Transform Object is unchecked. I'm going to leave it on to show you why. but And then you can scale it, whether you want to do uniform or non-uniform. And you scale it up. Now with it checked, it's going to transform not only the size of the pattern, but the shape of the object also, which isn't what you want. So when you uncheck that, you've just scaled the pattern itself. And then you hit OK. So now that's much easier for people to color. You can also select multiple shapes if you were putting the same pattern in them. You could select, hold down the shift key and select two shapes, put a pattern in them. You see it's going to default to the original pattern, but you can go back up to Object, Transform, and Scale, and it's going to remember the last thing you did, which is cool, so then you just hit OK. Another thing that people like to do is rotate the pattern within shape. So I'm going to select the bottom right rectangle, and I'm going to go over to the Rotate tool and double click on it to bring the box up. And you'll, can, and you'll see that you have the same Transform Objects option. So if it's checked, it's going to rotate the rectangle, which you don't want. So you can just uncheck it. And then you can just adjust the angle and the rotation. And uh, that's also helpful, depending on the design you're doing. Last but not least, you can also move a pattern within a shape. So I'm going to select this top right rectangle add a pattern. And if you hold down the tilde key, that's the key next to the number one on your keyboard, hold down the tilde key. And then you can either use your left mouse button and click and drag and it'll move the pattern. It's a little disconcerting to watch it because it looks like the box is actually moving, but it's not. You're just moving the pattern within the box. So the other thing you can do is hold down the tilde key and then you can use arrows on your keyboard. So you can use your up and down arrows and your left and right arrows. So that's how you'd move the pattern within the shape.